okay let's continue so we talked about the flow from a to e and the kind of resistance that it face and we said the a the pressure at a that we applied a it has to come the resistance from a to e and we call that resistive pressure rp let's call it and there is resistance now from a to b but we kind of separated them because this is a different kind of resistance because now different diameter and different surface area now this balloon is a stretchable um, material right you can stretch it um, you can shrink it that's why it distend with air and shrink if there is no air the stretchability if we want to apply it apply physics to it, what does it mean exactly basically it means how easy to get this balloon from this size let's say to this size which means how much pressure i need how much pressure gradient how much change in pressure i need to apply here to push air to get the volume stretch the balloon from this point to this point so you can guess that the stretchability means here is the change in volume to go from one from one to two size so this change in volume divided by change in pressure how much pressure i needed to go to apply to go from one to two and you can see now the lower the pressure the more stretchable the balloon is and the higher pressure the less stretchable okay to make it even clearer we have a balloon here a blue balloon and we have a yellow balloon here and the blue balloon became filled with a hundred cc of air and also this the yellow balloon became filled uh, with 100 cc of air but the difference this one needed let's say 10 centimeter hto pressure to go from this to this and this one needed 5 centimeter hto they started at the same size they went to the same size but this required 10 centimeter hto and this is 5 centimeter hto so you can simply tell that the yellow balloon is more stretchable compared to the blue balloon the other term we need to use it instead of stretchable is compliant so the yellow balloon is more compliant so compliance let's call it c is equal to change in volume divided by change in pressure so this resistance here that the ap the pressure a need to overcome we said already need to overcome the rp here now needs to overcome the resistance here this resistance we give it a different name remember compliance or stretchability or distensibility is the opposite of elasticity so you can give this compliance name we give it a stretchability name but we're going to use elastic pressure so the pressure here has to overcome the resistive pressure and elastic pressure to get the air in so you can simply now say that the pressure at a is equal to resistive pressure plus elastic pressure because we needed to come overcome the resistance the resistive uh, pressure here and then the elastic pressure here 